Oh hi, I didn't see you there. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Crystal. Welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey, what's up? Please, if you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, become a part of the Genuine Family. I would love to have you here. Also, click the bell notification so that you will never miss one of my uploads. So you guys, today's video, you have asked and I am delivering. You guys have been asking me for quite some time now to do a Kato try on haul. I've gone into the store, but I've never actually pulled the trigger and purchasing things so that I can show you guys. But now, I got you. I got me some stuff to show you guys. And it is so freaking cute. So I can't wait to show you guys the stuff. So if you're interested in seeing everything that I picked up from Kato, which there's probably going to be, to be honest, another trip coming very, very soon because I didn't get that much this time. But if you're interested in seeing what I got this go around from Kato, then just keep on watching. So, you guys can already see this cute little ensemble that I have on right now. And disclaimer, today I'm not wearing any shapewear because it's just a little bit too hot for me to be <laughs> changing clothes and shapewear today. So, um, plus I wanted to give you guys the fullness of what the items are going to look like with no shapewear. So, let's start off with the top. This is a really, really, really nice gingham style top. It's black and white, as y'all can see. I love this top. It's made of like a like a polyester material. It's not very stretchy, so it's kind of like clinging a little bit. But I feel like the lining is making it feel a little bit tighter than it should be. But this is a super cute top. It is a cold shoulder top that you guys can see here. The arms are super stretchy. And even though this looks like a kind of like quarter length long sleeve, it's not. It's so breathable. So the only part that's actually clinging to my arms is right here. Where the cold shoulder stops. It's like a stretchy elastic right here. But this is just like a layer, like layers, so freaking cute, like a layer bell sleeve or flutter type sleeve. It is so darling, like I love, y'all know I said I've been looking for some really cute tops. When I saw this, I was like, oh yes, honey, she is cute. Just get into the sleeve, honey. Like, isn't it so cute? So cute. And it's not very tight. I got this in a size 26, 28. Gingham is such a cute trend. And I never thought that I would be wearing something that had this print on it. So I'm glad I picked this up. It is so nice. Like I feel like you could wear this all throughout the spring and the summertime because it's not too hot. This is something that you could probably also wear to work and dress up to. Now, let me tell y'all. I tend to veer away from white jeggings and white pants because they tend to show every little nook and cranny lump and bump but we at this point and stage in our life or my life that I don't care so I'm going to wear what I like and these are so freaking cute they're so freaking comfortable I love the style of them the fact that they are cropped the distressing going up the thigh it's so very cute these pants I also did pick up in a size 26 they fit perfect so let me know what you guys think this is such a cute outfit I don't think I intentionally the stuff that I picked up I didn't intentionally pair them together I just picked out a couple of pieces that I like but turns out that they could be outfits so and especially with like, I feel like this outfit with those black espadrilles that I just picked up from Walmart will be chef's kiss. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Also, let me know what you guys think about wearing white because 
or do you steer away from wearing white because of all of the imperfections that it show but let me know what you guys think down in the comments <laughs> you guys here is the next items that I have to share with you guys and these like I said I did not pick out to wear together I don't think that I would wear this together even though this top does have like some blues in it um, I'm not sure if I'm liking it too much with this skirt but nevertheless here is the top it is just this ribbed peplum tank top and the shoulder part is which also has like a tie detailing on the shoulder, but it is not functional. Like it has the strings here that you can tie, but it also has just a regular tank top. So I think that's very nice. So you don't have to worry about if this will come a loose or not um, throughout the day, or you just have to worry about that. So I think that's a really nice touch. You could tie it as loose or as tight as you would like. And then it just has this like peplum. I love this color. Like it's like a peachy coral type color on the background. But the flowers are like blue and white. And it has the pops of green from the stems. It's so stinking cute. I love this pattern. Let me see if I can move a little bit closer so I can show you guys. So freaking cute. This top is so super stretchy, like it has the elastic waistband to cinch you in, but the whole entire top is super stretchy. So I picked this up in the 26-28 again, and I think I probably could have got the 22-24 because of how much room I have in it, but I feel like this is super comfortable. I'm really loving the florals, like if y'all didn't check out my Rev Dolls, video i'll link it up here but that was full of spring florals so i'm bringing you guys some more florals with kato and this is such a cute top now let's get into this skirt honey so i think it was my walmart video that i had mentioned wanting to pair something with the denim skirt so when i started shopping on kato and by the way i did pick everything up on kato.com so i didn't go into the store i ordered everything from the website but I think I had mentioned wanted to pick up a denim skirt and so when I started looking through Kato's denim I saw this skirt and I was like yes scoop it up but I love this skirt like it's not too short it's like the perfect length in the back but the little uh, distress detailing in the front gives it a little a really nice little sexiness because you're showing a little bit of that thigh but it's not too high you know it's not doing too much i love the distressing so and the hem is not the hem is frayed it's like a cut frayed type hem all the way around so that's like a really nice touch i picked this skirt up in a size 26 and it's very stretchy like i probably could have sized down but i did and i just was playing it safe on everything and I'm glad I did. So it's very nice. Let me know what you guys think. I am so impressed with Kato. So y'all stay tuned because I got a feeling it's going to be some more Kato stuff coming your way. I am in love with the top like I if they have this in other colors I would probably go back and purchase this in more colors it's like a blush pink so cute um, the only thing is I didn't realize that it was completely see-through so you guys can see my bra through here it's completely <laughs> see-through um, the whole entire thing is like the eyelet style detailing um, it's not lined so if you're okay with just wearing a bra, if it's too, if it's like super hot wherever you live, or if you're okay with wearing something like this, this would be a cute 
brunch top to wear with the girls. If this is something that you would want to wear to church or to work, of course you would want to put a shell or a cami on underneath it. The peplum is so freaking nice. It's super stretchy. I picked this up in a 26, 28. The sleeves are so cute. It has like a elastic detailing to make the sleeve more puff style with the ruffle around the elbow. I love the little scallop detailing around the neckline and also the hem of it. The peplum comes down to a really nice length, which I like. Now, you guys, let's get into these Palazzo pants. I had such high hopes for these pants and I did pick them up in a size 26, 28, but they don't fit. As y'all can see, they are so freaking cute. Like, I love these pants. I love the style of them, but they don't fit. Um, I don't know where Kato went wrong with the fit. Of course, you see, I got them up, but I feel like if I sat down, a seam would pop or something like that. They fit throughout my legs perfectly. Like, the length is perfect for some Palazzo pants. I love it. I had such high hopes. Now, I might try a different kind and look at more at the description and the size chart to see, but it does have an elastic band in the waistband. It's just only in the back half of the pants. And so I was hoping that it would give enough stretch to come up, but no, you guys, the front part is stitched and seamed. It even has like this cute little tie detailing that you can tie it up here on the side, which I love. But this front is super duper tight. There's an awkward seam that's right here on the sides that's like, kind of like tucked. It's kind of like a V style tuck, which I don't know why that's there. And that's the part where I feel like if I sat down, that would probably bust or break. It's super tight all throughout my tummy. Now, I don't know if y'all can tell, but she tight. Like, it took me some time to get this pulled all the way up. I wish they had put made it the elastic waistband all the way around to make it super stretchy and more fitted. I have some other Palazzo pants that are made exactly that way. And that's the reason why I love Palazzo pants. So, I might try a different one, but I love this print. Like, it has, like, the the pink like and it has like the beiges and the black on the back black ground y'all know i said in one of my last videos that i love the floral on the back black ground because that's one of the ways that you can bring wearing black into the spring and the summertime i don't know i love this pattern love the print i love that the print is on both the front and the back it's so cute. I, it's just too tight. Like, I feel like I have a wedgie right now. <laughs> I don't know. And it doesn't have pockets. I think that's another thing that I'm kind of iffy about, too. But this is this would, would have been a super cute outfit and probably my favorite of the haul. But the pants were a fail. You know, I normally leave the best for last, but it didn't really work out that way. <laughs> So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So you guys, that's going to conclude this Kato Spring Try On Haul. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Let me know what piece was you guys' favorite. Like I said, these were not intended to be whole outfits, but they just worked out that way. Um, let me know which piece was you guys' favorite. Um, what is your favorite spring item? Are you into that gingham? Like, I think the gingham was my favorite piece of the haul because this turned out to be a fail. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video with your friends. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate you guys getting me over the hump. So that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you guys all oh so much once again. I will see you in my next video. Until then, live your life, sis. Bye, guys. Lala, lala, okay. Watermelon, milkshake.